Welcome to another Health News video news release brought to you by Health News. In today's news, we look at the impact of foods rich in antioxidants and folate for fighting depression. Growing evidence shows free radicals may play a big role in the development of major depression, one of the leading causes of suicide. Studies have found a high consumption of fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants and folate was associated with lower odds of depression, psychological distress, self-reported mood and anxiety disorders, and poor perceived mental health. After testing 2,000 patients, researchers found that a higher carotenoid blood level, the pigment that gives color to plants, was associated with a lower risk of depression. Lycopene, found in tomatoes, watermelon, pink grapefruit, guava, and papaya, is one of the most powerful carotenoid antioxidants. In fact, it is 100 times more effective at fighting free radicals than the more familiar antioxidant, vitamin E. In a five-year study of thousands of middle-aged office workers, those eating a diet of whole foods with a high content of antioxidants and folate had a much lower risk of mild to moderate depression than those who ate a diet of processed foods. Folate or vitamin B9 is found in dark leafy greens, asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and beans. Studies have shown low folate levels in the blood are associated with an increased risk of depression. If you or someone you know is suffering with depression, a balanced healthy diet, which should include fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants and folates, should help. Remember, your best source for everything health is your chiropractor. Visit your chiropractor regularly and make sure your nervous system is functioning 100%. Also, if you're watching this video on Facebook, please love our page, comment, and share. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video on our website and have not already done so, please add your name and email address to the form on this page. And that's it for today's health news. 